base of support. So the uh, line of gravity we've already talked about, and an important thing about the line of gravity is that uh, the point where the line of gravity touches the ground, of course the line of gravity is the vertical line that passes through the center of gravity, so the, the point where the line of gravity touches the ground is called the center of pressure. Um, sometimes called the zero moment point, but we'll call it the, the center of pressure. Now, uh, the reason that point is important is that uh, in order to determine balance for an object, whether an object will tip over or not, uh, the easiest way is to see whether the center of pressure is inside the base of support. So let's see how this works. So let's say we have a, a object that's sitting on a table. Uh, we draw the line of gravity down through the center of gravity. The point where it touches the table is the center of pressure. And then we see that that is uh, inside of this base of support where the object is touching the table. So this tells us that uh, this object is in balance. It's not going to tip over. This other object, uh, the center of gravity is uh, higher and when we draw the line of gravity down it happens to uh, hit a point on the table uh, here, the center of pressure, and uh, in this case it's outside of the base of support, so uh, in this case the object will will tip over. So, so we see here using the, the line of gravity and the center of pressure, is, it's easy to, to check for balance. Now, to uh, relate this to uh, what uh, was discussed in, in an earlier tutorial, uh, if we have uh, this object and it's uh, the case where the center of gravity would have to rise in order for it to tip over, well in that case the object is not going to tip over, it's um, in a stable balance. On the other hand, uh, with this object uh, we see that the um, center of gravity, uh, when it tips uh, to the right immediately starts coming down and so um, we know that the, this object is, is unstable. So, um, uh, and, But it's actually much easier to see this in terms of using the center of pressure and uh, the base of support. So. Now uh, here's an example of a wine holder, so we have this wooden board, you put a, a wine bottle in. So uh, in this case the um, the base of support is just this part where the uh, wine holder sits on the on the table and uh, because uh, this whole arrangement is um, in balance we know that the center of pressure must uh, land somewhere in this base which tells us that if we draw the line of gravity, the, the center of gravity must be must be somewhere up here. And in fact, um, that's uh, pretty much where the center of gravity is for a, a bottle of wine. Uh, it's about the same whether the bottle is is um, empty or full, and it's also the same whether it's red wine or white wine. That, that's a joke. So. Uh, now uh, the uh, height of the center of gravity also affects stability, and this is something we, we saw before. Uh, in the case on the left, the uh, object is top heavy, the center of gravity is up high, and um, we immediately see by judging the line of gravity and the center of pressure, the center of pressure is um, outside of the base of support, so uh, this first top heavy object is um, unstable and tips over. Uh, the other one, which is uh, the same object turned upside down, it's uh, bottom heavy and uh, we immediately see uh, from the location of the center of pressure uh, that 
at this angle of the slope, um, it is stable uh, and would not uh, tip over. Now, um, when an object has more than one uh, area of contact, for example, this bench, the bench has uh, two, two feet on the ground, the base of support is not just the area of contact, but it's the entire perimeter uh, surrounding uh, any points of contact. So uh, the entire green square uh, area under the feet of the, um, of the bench is the base of support. And we see here uh, clearly uh, this is stable. Uh, now for uh, characters, uh, say for a, a human character, uh, uh, the base of support would be uh, the area of the feet and in fact all of the area um, uh, surrounding uh, that. So it would be the area from toe to toe, around one foot, heel to heel, and around the other foot. So this entire uh, gray area uh, is the base of support. So let's look at a pose here for this um, character. So this character is rather uh, top heavy. So we might estimate the center of gravity to be up here in the, in the center of his chest. Now, um, in that case, in this pose, it looks like the line of gravity lands uh, here, right uh, between his feet. And then uh, his base of support is this entire uh, green area around his um, around his feet and so in this case and here we have two views uh, in this case the uh, center of pressure seems to land well within the the base of support so uh, this is a balanced pose now uh, this pose is um, is not in balance so the um, in this case the center of pressure if we estimate his center of gravity to still be up here in um, uh, his upper body. Uh, due to the fact that he's, he's leaning, uh, the line of gravity looks like it lands just in front of his, of his feet. And of course, his base of support is still the, the area uh, around his feet, including his feet. Uh, but in this case, the center of pressure is outside of the base of support, so the uh, the character would uh, would tip over standing in that in that pose. Now, all of this tells us uh, actually a lot about a character. Uh, let's look at this example. So we see this uh, silhouette of um, Gloria from uh, from Madagascar, and uh, in this pose, we see that. Um, if she's in balance in this pose, then her uh, center of pressure must be roughly here. Her um, feet are quite tiny. And uh, extending that up, this means the line of gravity must be uh, somewhere um, around here. So here's the line of gravity for Gloria. And looking at uh, her silhouette, we see that uh, more than half of her silhouette is is on the left side. So this is telling us that uh, Gloria must, in order to be in balance, uh, there must be a large amount of mass uh, on her right side. So um, this um, pose and the fact that it's in balance uh, and the fact the center of gravity, the line of gravity must be like this, tells us that uh, Gloria must be must be bottom heavy, uh, so she must have a lot of mass in her lower body. So, uh, animating uh, Gloria, uh, she uh, presumably has a lot of inertia, a lot of drag in the motion of her of her lower body. Um, on the other hand, her upper body uh, could be more agile and and, and light. So, uh, and we get all of this just from just from uh, looking at this pose. Now, you can uh, change uh, the uh, base of support just by uh, repositioning your feet. So uh, clearly when your feet are 
close together, you have a smaller base of support in a more relaxed pose, uh, feet spread apart, then we have a larger uh, area, larger base of support. Uh, for uh, quadrupeds, uh, the base of support is much larger because they have uh, multiple feet. So uh, here we see uh, Melman, his um, base of support with three feet on the ground is um, this triangle um, uh, around all of the feet. And so it's rather easy for him to maintain his center of gravity above that base of support. This little baby giraffe is very good at balancing yet, so it's, it's keeping its uh, legs uh, spread apart in order to uh, make a very large base of support. Uh, so for a person, we can um, mimic uh, this effect by uh, putting one or both hands on the ground. So uh, this football player with a hand on the ground, uh, the base of support is extended and so now it's the perimeter um, around the feet extending out to the hand. So this entire gray area is the base of support and so the player can be leaning forward and uh, this pose uh, would perhaps not be in balance if they took their hand off the ground, uh, but with their hand on the ground, the um, uh, center of pressure falls inside the the base of support. Uh, you can practice this by uh, playing Twister and uh, you can get a lot of uh, experience judging um, base of support and uh, center of pressure and, and have a lot of fun too. Uh, finally, the um, you don't have to physically uh, place a limb on the ground. You can uh, use an extension like a support. Uh, here we see a cane is um, holding uh, this character's um, pose because uh, by having the cane on the ground this is like a, a placing a hand or an extra foot and so now the base of support is, is much larger so uh, this pose where the character is uh, leaning uh, towards screen left is uh, would, would be out of balance were it not that uh, he has a cane so he has an extension of the base of support. So in summary, the center of pressure is where the line of gravity touches the ground. The base of support is the area around all points of contact uh, with the ground. A character's pose is in balance if the center of pressure is inside the base of support. And um, of course the center of pressure and the base of support both change depending on a on a character's pose but uh, fortunately they're uh, both relatively easy to judge now we saw some uh, basic poses in this tutorial in the next tutorials we'll see um, more examples uh, more interesting uh, situations and how uh, we naturally adjust our motions uh, when we want to stay in balance and also we'll see what we do uh, to regain balance. So, see you there.